Greetings yogis, I'm Rebecca and thank you for joining me for this brief but energetic yoga flow. If you've been feeling a little drained lately or the holidays have left you feeling low on energy, this is the practice for you. You won't need any props today, so just take some time, gather what you need, put on some peppy music, and I'll see you on the mat. going to begin today in standing. So take just a moment to uh, check in with your feet and see that they're about hip width distance apart. This is usually about as wide as your fist, actually. So you might want to check that out. And then take a moment to lift your toes from the mat. We'll find a little micro bend in the knees here and drop the little toe and then the big toe and allow all the other toes to fall in between, really connecting here with that place where the toe meets the foot. And then settling in with three deep breaths here, keeping the eyes closed if you like, or the gaze lowered. We'll just inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, releasing the shoulders down the back. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, shoulders down the back. One last time here. Good. Now stepping the feet out wide on the mat, we're going to allow the toes to turn out at a 45 degree angle here. Still keeping that little bit of engagement, that little bend in the knees here. We'll allow the hands to drop down and then sweep up as we inhale. As we're exhaling, bringing the hands down, dipping into the knees just a bit. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, releasing down. Being mindful here that the knees are tracking right over the feet, opening the legs outward. Inhale to the top, exhale down. A few more breaths here, inhaling up. Exhale, release, really sinking down, beginning to bring in a little bit more motion, really reaching up to the fingertips. Exhale down, inhale up. And this time as you're exhaling down, you might bring in even a little bit more motion maybe reaching down towards the floor, maybe even widening your stance slightly, really warming up the legs and hips here. Keeping the focus on the breath. Filling the lungs up all the way to the top. And if you have any discomfort in your knees here, really check how your feet are planted. One last time here, making sure those knees are tracking right over the toes. And then reaching up, exhaling, hands come down to the hip crease. We're going to allow the feet to come parallel, toes pointing forward. Inhale, shoulders onto the back and exhale, sinking forward, wide leg forward fold. And once you've found your way forward, just as far as you can go without dropping your hands, just allow your hands to release down to the floor. Keeping the knees bent here if you need to, and maybe wiggling in a little, just finding what feels good here. And then we'll inhale up halfway, bend the knees slightly. You can bring the hands back to the hip crease or to the top of the thighs, inhaling up to stand with a flat back. 
And we'll walk or hop those feet together to the center of the mat and then step up towards the top of the mat, warming up today with a few sun salutations. So finding your nice firm foundation, rolling the shoulders onto the back, inhaling the arms up overhead. Exhale, releasing into your forward fold. First forward fold today. So please keep those knees bent as much as they need to be. Even if your forward fold resembles more of a chair, that's okay. Inhaling up halfway, bringing the hands to the shins or the thighs. Exhale, releasing into the fold. Taking a step back with the left foot, we'll exhale as we shift the hips downward, taking the gaze forward if you can. Planting both hands, coming back to plank or maybe half plank if that suits you better. And then pulling the elbows into the sides will release down to the floor. Letting the tops of the feet come to the floor, pulling the elbows towards each other, inhaling, using those back muscles to lift ourselves up, baby cobra. Exhale, release, rolling the toes back under, pressing back up to plank or half plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, bringing left leg through, coming into a lunge on the left side. Exhale, shifting the hips down. Inhaling, back foot comes forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, up to stand with a flat back. Hands come to meet overhead. Exhaling all the way down, back into our forward fold. Inhaling up halfway, exhale to release. Stepping back with the right leg, shifting the hips down, gazing forward. Planting both hands, coming back to your plank or half plank, pressing away from the floor, inhaling here, rolling forward on the toes, holding the elbows into the sides as we exhale slowly to the floor. Tops of the feet to the mat, inhale up. Baby Cobra, exhale, release. Inhaling up plank or half plank, exhale, downward dog. Stepping forward, right leg, coming into our right lunge, exhale, looking forward. Inhale back foot forward, exhale, release. Inhale up to stand, continuing with our sun salutations. Hands come to meet overhead, exhaling all the way down. Picking up the speed just a little, picking up that warmth, inhaling up halfway. Exhale, release, planting both hands, stepping back to plank or half plank. And then coming into your chaturanga. Maybe inhaling up to up dog here if your back is ready for it or else coming back to Baby Cobra, and coming back to your downward facing dog, shifting the gaze forward, walking or hopping the feet up to the hands. Exhale, release, inhale up to stand. One more here, hands come to meet overhead, exhaling all the way down. You're doing great. Inhale up halfway, exhale, release. Planting both hands, step or float back to plank. And exhale, coming into your belly and up to up dog or baby cobra or cobra. And shifting, finding your way back, downward facing dog. Taking the gaze forward, hop or walk to the top of the mat. Exhale, release. And inhale up to stand. Hands come to heart center. Pressing the thumbs into the sternum. Taking a moment here to give gratitude for that heart that's beating, that blood that's pumping, that breath that's breathing you. And now making any adjustments that you may need to make here. We're gonna take this into a warrior one. 
So when you're ready, you can bring your hands to your hips if you like. Take a nice big step back with that right leg, bending into the left knee, pressing forward through that left hip, pulling back, sorry, pressing forward through the right, pulling back through the left hip. <laughs> and then inhaling the arms up overhead, really reaching out through the fingertips here. If you like, you can exhale, widening the collarbones, bringing this into a little bit of a back bend. Inhaling to come up. Exhaling will come into warrior two. So finding your stance, opening up here, bringing the shoulders back into alignment with the pelvis, head over heart, heart over pelvis, dropping that back hand, inhaling up, reverse warrior, really stretching out through that side body. And then on your next exhale, windmilling those hands down, coming back to our extended side angle, reaching out long through that side body. And then inhaling the arm up straight overhead, we're going to begin to extend through that lower leg, dropping the hand to the foot or the shin and coming into our triangle. Really peeling those lower ribs up towards the ceiling. Maybe your gaze is straight out front. Maybe it's up towards the thumb. Being okay with wherever you are in this pose. And then when you're ready, engaging everything, inhaling up, exhaling back to warrior two. Inhaling to windmill that arm around, coming back into a lunge, framing that left foot, planting those hands on the mat and coming through a flow if you like, or going straight to downward facing dog. And then walking or hopping back to the top of your mat. Exhale back into your forward fold and inhale up to stand. Hands come to heart center. Taking this flow to the other side now, bringing those hands to the hips if you like, bringing that left foot, nice big step back, exhaling, pressing that left heel into the mat, pulling back through that left hip, pressing forward through the right, inhale, arms up overhead, really reaching out through the fingertips. Exhale, little back bend, if you like. Inhale to come back up. And exhale, opening up, warrior two. Checking your alignment here opening that knee out so that you can see the big toe. And then when you're ready, inhaling, reverse warrior, stretching through that side body. Inhaling back to warrior two. And exhale, extended side angle, bringing that bicep up over the ear, continuing to deepen into that knee. Inhaling, arm comes straight up and then exhaling, coming into triangle. Imagining that someone is pulling those fingertips right up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, engaging everything, inhaling back up. Exhale, warrior two. Bringing that back hand around, windmilling around, coming back to frame that right foot and stepping the right foot back, coming through your vinyasa if you like. Or meeting back, downward facing dog. Taking the gaze forward and walk or hop back to the top of your mat, 
Exhale back into your forward fold and inhale back up to stand. Hands come to heart center. Going to come through that flow again, this time with a little bit more focus on moving with the breath. So we'll be moving with each inhale and exhale coming through all those same common poses. So we'll begin here just by taking a moment to set up, readjust, maybe shake out the legs a little, inhale the shoulders onto the back, and then allowing those arms to sweep up overhead. We'll exhale, bringing the hands to the waist, Stepping back with the right foot. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, coming to warrior two, finding your stance. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arm comes around. Exhale, framing that left foot, planting both hands, stepping the left foot back, coming through your flow or coming right to downward dog. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, up to stand. Hands come to heart center. Stepping back with the left leg. Warrior one. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, opening warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Deepening into that front knee. Exhale. Extended side angle. Inhale, arm sweeps up. Exhale, extending through the leg, finding your triangle. Inhaling up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back arm sweeps around, coming to frame that right foot and then coming through your flow or coming straight to down dog. And holding it here in our down dog. Keeping it here for a couple of breaths, feeling that energy we've built in the body. Allowing the head to be relaxed. Rolling the tailbone up to the ceiling, maybe bending the knees just a little or maybe a lot. And then allowing ourselves to shift forward, knees find the mat. Maybe you keep them close or perhaps you bring them wide. Either way, shifting back into whichever version of child's pose suits you today. Hands can be stretched out front or sweep along behind or even come underneath your head. Bring your focus back inward, back to the breath. Our minds always wander to outward things. And so we use these brief moments of drawing in on ourselves to draw our focus back inside. And now bringing the hands alongside, you can shift the legs out to the side or cross the ankles. And we're going to roll back to seated at the back of the mat. 
extending the legs out long for just one moment, maybe wiggling out through the legs and then coming down to rest on the back. Knees come into the chest, rolling out through the back here. And if you have a little extra time today, you can stretch those legs out long and come into your Shavasana. I encourage you to use that time to rest and be present with yourself. And if it's time for you to close your practice today, you can bring the soles of the feet down to the floor We'll roll to one side, pressing ourselves up gently and with care, bringing the hands to heart center, keeping the eyes closed for just a moment or the gaze lowered. We'll end our class with three deep breaths. May your class today have left you feeling energized and centered. If you're hanging out in Shavasana today, please enjoy the silence and the time with yourself. And may your yoga follow you off the mat.